We're gonna have Kabu and Sergal go on a scouting mission over towards this foggy area, and we're just gonna see what's over there. With Sergal's scout leg, he's moving at 30 miles per hour, so he's slowing Kabu down a bit, but I feel better about sending two of them out just in case some freak accident happens to Kabu where maybe he'll randomly stop and get ambushed by a bunch of people I'm not looking. Sergal can pick him up and bandage him up and the other way around. I think it's always just safer to explore with two people instead of one. I also installed a map mod thanks to a dude in the comments, and this map is a lot cleaner than my last one. But there is a zone in here called obedience so we're gonna check that out and see what's in there they headed through this entire fog area there wasn't really anything i ran to one broken skeleton but we were able to outrun them and i think we'll head over to the fog islands and see if there's anything over there fog man i've heard these guys are like cannibals and they will eat you alive they run at 19 miles per hour so we're not too worried about them we can outrun them all right we're at mongrel there's a shinobi guard here a new guy eh? must be tougher than you look making it here to this city in one piece people make it a habit of visiting here if you're lucky enough to to make it to mongrel you're stuck in mongrel avoid the death yards altogether okay maybe we should go explore the death yards this is a really good place to mine there's a iron resource right outside and you can buy this residential for 2k and this y house for 14k this is actually a really good starting area if you could make it here hi beep how you know my name it's just a guess you must be some kind of genius then can i join you i want to become strong they exiled me from the hive i'm defective not good for the hive but beep doesn't give up beep is strong since i left the hive i can feel my mind changing the way I think. I feel free. I want freedom, but everywhere I go, things try to kill me or chase me. Beep tires of running. Time to stab the things that chase me. How much money do you want? Money? I don't know what that means. Welcome to the team. He's a hive worker drone, so he's good at laboring and he's good at farming. The main thing I'm looking for right now is some kind of ruins, and there was one way back in obedience. We should maybe go back there. All right, we made it to the ancient labs. Here's a gate. 2% chance to lockpick. But I think that's Sergal. Yeah, Kabu has a 90% chance to lockpick it with 75 lockpicking. Okay, there's a spider in there there's two spiders can we stealth in there by the way kabu's only got 32 stealth skill because we left the stealth legs back with beep i feel like if kabu had his stealth legs he could definitely sneak up there but let's try to fight them i don't know how we're gonna do this sergal has really good crossbows kabu is pretty hopeless though let's try to kite it down this ramp let's see if we can get it to like the open field okay kabu just hit Sergal, I think. Oh no, he's bleeding. I forgot bandages, so I'm gonna have Kabu go back to Mongrel and grab some, and then Sergal will just solo for a while. I'll have Kabu get the stealth legs too, and we can try to stealth him to the top. Maybe we don't have to fight these guys. His chest is almost gone. Okay, we finally got it. We took out its chest, its head, its right foreleg. We took out pretty much most of its stuff. Skeleton muscle sells for 2k, and the components sell for 200 each. All right, we made it back. He's in critical condition, but we got the bandages. And while Sergal's kind of healing up, we're gonna have Kabu go on a solo mission, and he's got 100 stealth. Let's see if he can just stealth to the top. Definitely during the nighttime, I think might be better. Security spider over here. So you can just walk by. Didn't see us. The spider over there. We can. Sneak by them though, I'm sure. Nothing really in there. There is a safe. 74% chance to lockpick this only. With his 75 lockpicking, that means there's gotta be something good in here. CPU unit, it's worth 6k. An ancient science book, we need these, and they're worth 5k. Three ancient science books in this strong box in the middle. There's an ancient safe over here. I'm sure that's gotta have something in it. Oh yeah, six ancient science books. Three power cores. These things are not actually that heavy. They sell for 3k. Robotics. Oh my god, these things sell for 3k too. The skeleton muscles only weigh 1kg, so we'll grab as many of those as we can. Generator core oh, weighs a 60kg. This would actually be really useful to have to give to our companions and just have them carry it around. That'd make them really strong really fast. The repair kits sell for 4.5. And we'll grab a power core. It's only 3kg. All right, well, we got most of the stuff out there. If we make it back with all this stuff, that was quite a lot of money. Here's a Shinobi Thieves Thief boss. People have been telling me about these guys. I want to join the Shinobi Thieves. 10,000. We actually don't have that, but we will in a second. There's a companion here, Crumble John, and this guy's got to be good. He's got 24 strength. Can you actually lift that weapon? It's a long beard. Why are you so old? Join my squad. Final, join your stupid squad. Yay. That guy's free? What? All right, let's join the guild. 10k. Sign me up. Shinobi Trader. Dude's got assassin rags. These are actually better than ours, I think. The ninja rags give more stealth, um, but these are standard quality. These are shoddy grade. We'll buy these. And they have three thieves backpacks. They value at 2,500. Oh, that's really cheap. Let's do that. The skeleton trader has a masterwork scout leg. 38% more athletics. 
Kabu's gives 24%. He also sells a specialist one, which gives 31%. Thieves arm, plus 18% lockpicking, thievery, and dex. Yo, we need to get rid of Kabu's arms. Steady arm, plus 18% crossbows, plus 14% dex. Whoa, this guy's got some really good stuff. Well, the cool thing is we do have stuff we can trade. This dude's got 25k. We'll burn through that real quick. Okay, we'll grab the scout leg for sure. 18k. That's three cpu units the specialist scout leg for sure 31 percent more athletics and i think we want the steady arm for more crossbows and decks and the thieves arm for more lock picking thievery and decks dude's moving at 35 now and kabu's moving at 39 if we gave kabu the masterwork leg dude is moving at 43 it's completely unnecessary. All right, I think the next plan of action is we're gonna head up here towards Raptor Island and we might check this thing over here for some kind of labs. I feel like we should pick up a Garo and it can carry stuff for us. I'm gonna call him Pinky. How fast is this thing? 16. It's not bad. It doesn't come with a Garo backpack, unfortunately. He does sell Garo backpacks, perfect. All right, well, since Pinky only moves at 16 miles per hour, do not get too attached to him. If it hits the fan, then we're dipping and Pinky is gone. I'm thinking there's gonna be stuff over Raptor Island, so we're gonna head over there with Zergal, Kabu, and Pinky. All right, we're seeing a nest, ancient citadel ruin. That could be good. That means there might be some ancient loot. Um, and what's in here? Whoa, a lot of stuff in here. And there's a mega raptor. <laughs> It has 1k HP. Okay, I can see why there's all this loot here. Is that all there is though? Like, we don't really need this stuff. I'd rather not fight the Mega Raptor. This looks like it would be a really good spot for a base though. Fertility is 100%. Crop yield is 100% for a cactus. Cotton is very bad. Veggies are 10. Ouch. Wheat farm 60. So it's not the best for farming. And back at the base, we have 50 bread in the storage. So we're doing pretty good. I don't know if I showed you guys when I... <laughs> me building all these bread ovens <laughs> i think i cut a lot of that out of the last episode but we built a crap load of bread ovens a crap load of wheat farms and we definitely have a food surplus at this point if we go south of raptor island there's a group of islands and there's a ruin on one of the islands we can go check that out i already made it to the post ancient workshop i'm seeing a metal chest i'm not seeing any enemies holy assault moving towards your oh here we go skeleton leg masterwork this thing's really tanky and it gives 10 percent more athletics and a generator core extremely heavy there's more metal chests over here and general storage boxes actually have stuff a robotics component in this chest and iron plates and fuel in this one what about these boxes engineering research oh this is actually really good valued at 8k i'm not seeing one of these so far let's check this metal box three engineering research oh yeah cpu unit full repair kits a plank and robotics components and there's a metal box with a specialist old world bow mk2 this thing does 54 to 72 damage this one is 46 to 60 so it's much better and it has less reload time more range more velocity and then a stealth leg specialist in this small box whoa Alrighty, well we leave this place dry we got a lot of nice stuff and pinky will carry it all we're gonna have sir gall swim out to this island and we're gonna have kabu and pinky head down here because i'm guessing there's stuff down this way and i don't think there's anything at this island but we'll check apparently there's a high village out here i don't think they're gonna be too accepting of sergal i'm kind of surprised they haven't attacked him already because they usually hate other hive and sergal is a hive royal soldier drone does not like us I wonder if there's anything good in here cpu unit i think that's good pearl sword holder that might be worth something skeleton muscle there's a safe i bet there's really good stuff in that safe wait who is this guy the queen oh let's talk to her why do you scream are you okay Okay, I don't think she, they like us being here. We got to come back here with like Kabu and do a stealth mission in here. I'm sure these baskets and safes and stuff are absolutely loaded to the brim. Oh, okay. Here's the Holy Nation. Their goal is to ransack the town. Yeah, they're really not very smart. Okay, well, there goes the holy raid. This is the only interaction that I know should work, is that if you talk to a hungry bandit with the prisoner recruitment mod, we should be able to get him to join us. Okay, so we're gonna build a corpse furnace right in front of these prisoners. They can watch as we burn the prisoners alive who didn't join us. Okay, maybe here's a better position so they can see it from both angles. Like these guys can all see it, these guys can all watch as well. We can give String the job of corpse disposal, corpse furnace, and find corpses. So this bandit can watch as String finds these corpses, picks them out of the cage. This guy doesn't even know if that guy's dead. And we're just going to drop him right in there. All right, buddy, do you want the bread? 
Or do you want to be dead? Scum sucker. Okay, this guy has no fear. A-hole spiky. I do not have a spiky a-hole. Hair brusher freak. I don't really brush my hair. Eyes scrubber spiky. A-hole bone freak. Okay, get more creative, guys. I've already heard that one. Let's... Okay, I've heard that one. Teeth scrubber spiky. That's a new one. I feel like maybe String's not the guy to be talking to these guys. All right, guys. I'm sorry to be an a-hole toothpick, but I'm going to end the episode right there. Living in this encampment's getting a bit too easy, so in the next episode, we're going to move to a harder location, and we're going to build a new base. I'm currently in the process of moving, so that's why the videos are taking a little bit longer than usual. I've been checking out apartments, and it's been pretty time-consuming. But once I do move, I should be able to get back on my daily upload grind. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Also, if you guys can make this video break 4k likes, I will put all my effort into training Beep Up to become a god so that he can get revenge on the hive who exiled him and so that he can stab the things that chase him.